stores are full. Hi. Oh. What's up with the uh, orange jumpsuits? Yeah. What's up with this party? I'm sick of all the hype over topless. Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay opens in theaters this Friday, April 25th. And it's a movie that came about largely from fans of their first film, Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. The stakes are a little higher in this film, as Cal Penn and John Cho are playing on America's stereotypes and twisting them around. Cal Penn said that the first movie's popularity with fans is the reason for the new film. I think the fans have been so supportive of the first movie and they knew that it was yeah. a small movie. And it's the same thing with this one. I, I can't say that enough, that, that the only reason that we're making this movie is because of them. Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay picks up 30 seconds after the first one ends, and Cal Penn, who is harassed by John Cho, talks about what fans loved about the first movie. From my impression, uh, just talking to fans of, of the first one, what they really liked was the characters and the, the retarded situations. I get it, you have fans. What I learned most from the, I get the kind folks who supported our film. Sometimes you learn film, things. Who supported our film. I get it, you're supported. Who's, you are too. Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay features Chris Maloney as a KKK leader, Robert Cordry as a Homeland Security official, and the return of Neil Patrick Harris playing himself. Kind of delicious. Is that you? Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo Bay. I thought you guys were terrorizers. <laughs>